Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing the wonderful blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty with Grandmaster Mode. It is time to level our next team, the Affliction Crew, I would call it. Bleed and Burning are the best friends of uh, these uh, brave... Grey Knights, uh, we're running the same team back to back. Paladin here, who I need to feed a few more kills. I think he's still at, um, at the lowest level. Jiro doesn't need kills, so I need to be a bit more careful there. And <coughs> we did not run out of um, out of our. Uh, will points either so Jiro should prepare but not kill uh, then we got Botili uh, Jiro uh, who is um, again a little bit low on our killing enemies so we need to change that I want the flamers so bad to do something meaningful but the thing is burning doesn't stack with one another bleeding however it does I don't agree with that uh, game decision, but who am I? Uh, you can't mod this game, so well, I cannot at least. Uh, so that's unfortunately go not going to work. With a different gun, this might actually work out better. For now, hmm, not going to work out. Well. We still got the bleeding here, and we got the psychotroke uh, here as well. So both of that isn't bad. Uh, he can deal a lot of damage with it, but I need I need some more some more da uh, damage for him to actually kill stuff. Hmm. Yeah. No great solution yet. <clears throat> other than needing to feed him kills and Rosa last time was the big winner um, gobbled up all of the kills is now at 700 uh, experience good for them not so good for the others so that's it that's what we have as the stratagems uh, we can do without heal but we still need the, those two and Gateway of Infinity isn't bad either, so I think we're okay. Let's start the mission and see how well we're doing. All right, let's get it going. Those spreaders are nasty, so amongst the most difficult missions. Is initiating conjugal process. Then we have no time to waste, brothers. You must destroy it before it expels its seeds through the warp. But all we need to do is destroy the spreader, but in order to get there, it's a long, long, long walk. What is your will? Seeking the tainted. None may hide from our warp site. Okay, well, already found the first few enemies right there Moving out. the paladin with a shield has some advantages but I think shields need some rework as well the giving completely giving up uh, range without any teleportation I find that difficult he uh, that class could benefit so so well from from a form of engagement like this one for instance Enemies are moving in. I like it. Cool. Um, front line is our front line. We're putting sanctuary up. 
I like that. What is your will? I am here to serve. Let's perch them first and foremost. I've learned that the hard way. None shall evade my cleansing fire! Good, and the trees are completely immune to everything. To all afflictions. Alright, so that's a hard counter for us. We need to actually get them down the good old fashioned way. Everybody's crazed. I like it. And whilst we're at it, fuck it. Let's go. Hmm. Thinking about using you someone else's grenade. Ready. Huh, doesn't matter. Let's go. There we go, everybody's bleeding. And that, of course, can be topped with more bleeding. We got three Halo Skulls. Uh, not necessarily wanting to use them. We're instead starting to hit the tree. How much bleed did we stack already? 11. Well, it's not too bad. You can always put a little bit more bleed onto things. There we go. Okay, um... Tree takes more damage. We got a lot of defense. Let's see how how good that is. <laughs> the answer is it's very good. Tainted. Nine hit points, and this guy deals five. Feel All right, here we go. Rock. Cool, that would be one kill, but that's not good enough for me. I want more kills than that. Alright. 
My you better now be two kills. Ready. Yes. Back, fiend. Sanctified and purged. What is your will? Hmm. <clears throat> well, I see there's a bit of a problem. Your command. Do we have resistances on any of Command our guys? 25% here. 0%. Praise the Emperor. 25%. Yes, Commander. 0%. Alright, well, yes, it is what it is. One person needs to take it. Teleporting a little bit closer. <coughs> Ready for battle. Uh, this one looks a bit like a home run to me. My blade is yours. Four points of damage, and yeah, the bolter would be. Better. Ask. Your orders. Vengeance. Nice strike. Fabulous strike. Let's move up as far as we can and see if we can actually hit that thing. The flamer still deals okay amount of damage. Five is not fantastic, but it's no okay. Devil shall elude my gaze. And given that that thing cannot be harmed by any afflictions, we're actually doing okay. Foe wounded! Ah, uh, shouldn't have given <coughs> this one to the apothecary. My bad. Okay, we don't want to trigger that corruption. All I want is to teleport as far as possible up here. There we go. Well, that's a lot of corruption. Oopsie. of the Emperor. That one's massive! We will not be daunted. Brothers, destroy that thing before the demons surround you. Well, we're going to make a stand here. Brothers, I have discovered the enemy! There we go. Armor. There we go, resistance. There we go, more armor. Alright, now, now we can start fucking around with these guys. Uh, a little bit of uh, fire for all of you. 
purging, burning. Love that. Psychotrope grenade. <clears throat> Let's them attack each other. <laughs> Very nice. And of course, this wouldn't be a proper situation without a bleeding grenade. Good, stacking more bleed over there. Couple of them are immune, that's okay. What is your will? The Emperor lights our path. Now we still keep the hailers, although. That's a good one. <clears throat> Both of them get out of their hiding, cluster up a little bit more. I like that. Good. And whilst we're doing that, we could <coughs> go and actually hit this target. Is it organic, by the way? No, that's the morning, right? Yeah. Because organic targets, we would have uh, pretty sizable damage advantage. You can see, for instance, here. Eight points of damage and a lot of crit chance. All right, listen, the bloom spreader at some point needs to go. Might as well <clears throat> start with doing exactly that. Oops. Good, we got a few more grenades. Awesome damage. And we are going to protect this side. Very nice. Wow, look at that. <coughs> Got an anti-demonic bolter. I knew why I took this one. Because someone needs to chuck through the hundreds of hit points. Alright, let's see how well our situation uh, here is going to evolve.
Okay, we can kill that thing. Praise the Emperor. Your orders? In the meantime, I wonder, can we also... Kill this thing here so that we just get a little bit more experience going. Psychotrope grenades also deal oh. minimum damage themselves, which I like. Good. Unfortunately, Black just one kill. I don't know how I would facilitate another one. Mainly, again, the short range that Cut is hurting off. us, and the paladin also needs a few kills. So giving him that big fat bloom spawn. Initiating teleport. Uh, not a bad, uh, not a bad uh, team at all. I think we're doing quite well for ourselves. I think we're doing quite well for ourselves. Almost took zero damage thanks to the. <clears throat> whole sanctuary defense fits very nicely into the playstyle of this team. I thought we already had Psychotalk Grenade 3. This here is a Psy Cannon that deals stun. Hmm. Interesting concept. I think I'll just take it for... Maybe for a situation where we need a stun two-handed cannon. I think we already had Psychotrol Grenades Tier 3, didn't we? We did. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So, Kale. What can we do here? Give ourselves more armor? I like that. Um. I don't think that this team setup lends itself particularly well for arcane weapons and he doesn't have a ranged weapon to begin with so smite might be the solution here and then he has fury of the ancients I like to think that that's not a bad idea smite Let's test out the Fury of the Ancients. Um, 45 degree angle, range 5, deals 6 damage. We can get it up to range 8, which is almost bolter range. And then we can activate it for pretty massive damage upgrade, plus knockback. I could see that as a good tool to kind of cluster enemies together, if you will. Or even push them off of a ledge and 
with our current willpower, I mean the next... Before we get to that, I think we need to upgrade passive willpower. Or we just take it and next turn we're upgrading it because we need more willpower and we need to skill into that. Okay. Before we do that, one last check. Hammerhand could be good for him dealing more melee damage. Well, down here we would have a lot of willpower for sure. And bleed on our strike, which is funny because that would be even more bleed. Hmm. That would pigeonhole him quite heavily into that melee only. I like the idea of smite because it solves the only the only problem that or the problem that we had. If you use shields you have zero range and smite is is at least something. Good. And if we upgrade it, it's more damage. And this year, Fury of the Ancient doesn't look bad either. So, yeah, I'll go with my initial plan. Purifier. You did very well. I think grenades, more damage, is no brainer. Uh, the 100% mutation loss, not necessary. I would rather go into this direction. Flamer, more range. More damage. If we kill multiples, we're getting AP back. And then let's just go down into this track here. I think that's a good idea. Plus, we also got some will points out of that. So everybody's back to a joint baseline. I like it. Experience kind of nets itself out. Experience kind of nets itself out, which brings me to the next step here. Uh, Demon Prince time. Demon Prince. How about we're moving to here and are flying closer to the Demon Prince. That would be good. Okay, well, we're flying right into a Death Guard encounter. Fantastic. Love it when the game does that. Alert. Enemy collision imminent. Brace for impact. Commander, we need orders. Opening fire. Good. Since we have level 4 gun batteries, we just destroyed it. Got some requisition. Very nice. That's good. Alright, off to the Demon Prince. I think that was the last the last little upgrade that we need. So once this year is done, we have a fully upgraded ship. Cool. Alert. Enemy ship has manifested short range tendril mutations. Contact in three, two, one. Our void shields have completely disintegrated. Alert! Crow! We must act now. Those tentacles are mutations derived by the blue. Firing on target. Apothecarium? Really? 
permanently damaged? Oh, come on. Hmm. I hate these events, but what can you do? There is always something happening on your ship. Uh, oh, I wanted to check one thing. Uh, I passed on level 3 grenades, and I just want to check if the game can offer you level 3 grenades, although you already have level 3 grenades. Yeah, Psycho uh, throw Grenade level 3 already existed. I don't know why the game would offer you that then. Uh, that's a bit counterintuitive. Anyways, we're going to do the Demon Prince uh, the next time. In our next episode, uh, when it is time for, what's his name called? Maledictius the Unclean? Malethian the Harvester. But I was close. Close enough. Alright, we're going to kill uh, Malethian with our prime team. And hopefully that'll be fun. Hopefully that'll be fun. And then afterwards, uh, we're likely going to see additional uh, spawns in terms of just research. We got enough for the other two seats, so I feel comfortable uh, with using our Affliction team for all of the normal missions. And in the meantime, just going through the Demon Princes one by one. And I assume just how game logic works. Once uh, all of the five Demon Princes are dealt with, there might be like an Uber Nurgle uh, Demon Lord coming, uh, coming to town themselves. And we gotta fight this guy as well. Alright, that's all I had for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.